Okay, quick unboxing video for you. We have a new sprinkler, hose sprinkler, made by Verve. Uh, this one has got five settings. You can see the five settings here. This is how it comes. Pretty environmentally friendly, just a backing and a little strap and that's it. So we're gonna unbox it, which obviously won't take too much time. So let's pull the bottom out. Standard sort of hose lock fitting, so it'll clamp into to probably what you've got already. Uh, let's undo the back bit. So here we have the unit itself. Uh, this is the on off switch. It's quite nice and elegant, very simple. So no trigger to pull, no trigger to hold. I had previous ones with triggers and uh, they tend to be slightly overcomplicated. So this is the previous one. And uh, this bit had popped out, the spring had disappeared, the bushes, um, eventually it's broken down here. I'll do another video on that. So this, by comparison, a lot, lot simpler. This is probably more complicated, the old hose lock. Uh, you had a twist on it to vary capacity, flow. This one doesn't seem to have that, I guess. So it's a simpler unit, about $12 this thing. Color, okay, that's okay. Uh, here are the five holes, and you just twist it around. It's quite a tight action. Feels quite sturdy. Uh, it keeps going around, so there should be five different movements. Let's see it on a hose next. So this is the old hose lock attachment that the old one went on. And so this is a Verve different brand. Will it fit? Yes, it does. It fits nice and snug, snugly. So it seems to be a standard connector. So that's it, really. The Verve 5 in 1 sprinkler thingy. Let's get watering. So I've been trying this out for about 10 minutes. Uh, good points and bad points. Uh, good points. It feels nice and sturdy. This is a nice twisty action. Love this trigger thing. So when you twist it, it starts squirting. It's really nice and easy, very comfortable. It doesn't hurt your thumb. Uh, and it cuts things off, cuts the water off quite quickly. Annoying points, I don't have strong water pressure here. So this hole, the biggest hole, which is the one I really need to fill up things fast, is a bit too narrow. So it's a bit too slow for me. Uh, let's have a quick. I've got one, that's the fastest one. And we've got this one, which is more of a dribbly spray. We've got this one, which is more of a, a different sort of blade spray. We've got this one, which is a thinner beam. We've got this one, which is a shower head sprinkle. That was actually quite nice. Uh, and then we're back to the first one. So that's it, really. This is the one I really need. Um, it's not quite fast enough, so it's going to take ages to fill up watering cans and whatnot. So that's the disappointing bit. Maybe not the fault of the, uh, the manufacturer, but the hose lock one I had before. Let's just switch this off. You can see the difference in holes. This is the one I really need. It's about two or three times the size of this one. So I get water much, much quicker out of it. So what I might end up doing is buying another one of these. As much as it's broken, uh, there's been problems with the trigger. It's lasted a few years. This thing cheaper, but that's good for what I need. It's probably good if you've got a small garden or window boxes, that kind of stuff. But for a uh, garden or a patio that you need lots of water quickly, because I've got lots of plants, not so good. So I'm going to score it. I'll give it a six out of ten. Uh, if this hole been nice and wide like this watering can one then it could probably give me a probably give it an eight so that's really my main gripe that's the end of the review